¿Cómo no? Aquí estuve. Ah, qué bueno. ¿Aquí está, verdad? Sí, ahí estuve. Qué bueno. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, everyone. Let's let's wait one minute for our friends. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start. Okay, so do you remember what we did yesterday? We practiced the possessive adjective and possessive pronoun, okay? What is the difference between the two? Well, the difference is that for the possessive pronoun, uh, usually I use it at the end. Possessive adjective, I use it before the object. Okay, for example, these socks are mine. These are my socks. So normally it goes before the adjective. Okay, so my sería un possessive adjective. It goes before the object. Okay, very good. So do you guys remember the exercise that we did yesterday? We practice. Okay, so for example, uh, Graciela, give me a sentence with the subject pronoun, I. The subject for, pronoun. I. For example, I am a student right now. Yes, very good. Okay. Usually when we use I, vamos a usar el verb to be, I am, usually. Okay. Uh, object pronoun, ese no lo, no lo hemos estudiado todavía. Okay. We're going to see it later. Possessive adjective, uh, let's say, Veronica, give me an example with the possessive adjective, my. Uh, the microphone. Uh, open your microphone, Veronica, so we can hear you. Okay. okay. These are my. What is the shoes? These are my shoes. My shoes. Very good. Excellent. Now, using the same example, okay. Uh, aquí lo voy a escribir el que tú nos diste ahorita. These are my shoes, mm -hmm. right? ¿Cómo sería si pongo eh, el possessive pronoun al final? ¿Cómo sería? These shoes are my shoes. Yes, very good. Excellent. So these are my shoes. And if I put the possessive pronoun at the end, these shoes are mine. So, el objeto, la cosa de lo que estoy hablando, va antes. Si yo uso mine. Okay, so basically that, that's the rule that we have to remember. And then, les enseñé myself. Myself is when you say, for example, uh, let's say, aquí, aquí lo voy a hacer. Eh, I cooked dinner myself. Yo mismo. Okay. Myself. All right. Excellent. Do you remember this exercise? See? Yes. Okay. So you have to do a, a lesson. Let me see here in English Corporativo or Creo que hay una lección de possessive pronouns. Let's see. 
I like a, like a knowledge check that we have to check. Okay, we are on section number four. Possessive knowledge check. Okay, so la lección está 4.5, but then knowledge check is the exercise that, that we have to do. And maybe, algunos ya lo hicieron? So let, let's just look at it right now. Let's do it quickly. Okay, for example, uh, it's a conversation. Is this Jennifer's hat? No, it's not her. It's mine. 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 And Mia, right? And so you say, it's mine. Are these blank gloves? Your, your, your. Are these your gloves? Uh, no, they are not. My gloves. My, My gloves. My gloves. Let's ask Sally. Maybe they are? Her gloves. Her gloves. Her. Her. Her, her gloves, okay? Aquí estamos usando el possessive adjective, okay? El possessive adjective va antes de la cosa. Number three, blank t-shirt are these, plural. Whose t-shirts are these, very good. Are they Julius and Pat's? No, they are not blank t-shirts. They're, 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 they're t-shirts. No, they are not their t-shirts. Very good. But these socks are theirs. Theirs. Ahora, aquí sí está el final, ¿verdad? Está el, theirs. Después del objeto. Theirs. This is a possessive pronoun. And these shorts are yours. 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 Mm -hmm. Hey, these are not our 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 clothes. Our, our clothes. Mm -hmm. You're right. Blank or are over there. Ours, Ours. are over there. Okay, so let's check. Okay, 100, 100, quiero ver cuál fallamos. Bueno. Ah, two. Okay, let's see. Are these? Yo. Your, sí. Ah, es que yo creo que yo, le, yo, le, yo la moví cuando, cuando la toqué. No, they are not. My. My, my gloves. My. Yes. Yo creo que la teníamos bien. Yo creo que yo la moví cuando subí para arriba. Okay. Okay, very good, excellent. Did everybody finish this exercise? Yes? Yes. Everybody yes. finished? Did you, did you have any questions? No? No. Todo bien con esa parte? Yeah? Okay, yes. so that was possessive, right? So, ya tienen el cuadrito que les mandé por WhatsApp. Eh, les recomiendo, ¿quién sabe crear una carpeta en su computadora? Creo que todo, ¿va? So, tú vas aquí al espacio, you right click, right click. No click izquierdo, sino click derecho. And then you're going to go to new, o dice nuevo, folder. And then I'm going to put, for example, here, materia, material, English material, I'm going to put. English material, okay? So, you can do something like this. Todos los recursos que les estoy mandando, aquí los pueden guardar. Okay, so hagan algo así. Eh, todos esos recursos, no lo más importante, especialmente esos cuadritos, esos gráficos, les va a ayudar mucho. Okay, very good. Let's go to the next section. Uh, let's see. Let me, let me show you the presentation. Yesterday we did a presentation and we were talking about the weather. Do you remember the weather? Yes. Right now in your house, uh, there, how would you describe the weather in your house, in your area? Uh, 
ahorita? Here in Michapa, it's cloudy and okay. it's a, a little, a little, a little, a little cold. Okay, very good, okay. ¿Quién más? Gloria, where are you? Tell us about the weather in your area. And this day is raining. Okay, very good. Uh, is it cloudy? Do you see clouds? Uh, yes. Okay. I see cloudy. Okay. Very good. So let's let's look at the let's look at the here the, the weather. I'm going to put it in English. Look, the weather in El Salvador. Right now, it tells me that it's 24 degrees. Mm -hmm. How do you say grados in English? You say degree. 24 degrees okay. Celsius. It's mostly cloudy. Remember, we talked about how do you say uh, here, porcentaje, how do you say it in English? Percent. Percent. 93% humidity. Okay, wind, viento, three kilometers per hour. Per hour. All right, very good. So you can see the weather. So looking at this, this uh, weather here in, in El Salvador, okay. And then puedo ver aquí que ahora miércoles está, estuvo lloviendo. You know, you can see this information here, okay. Uh, let me see, there's another page. I go to this page here, se llama AccuWeather, so you can see more information about the, the city. Aquí está un poquito más detallado. Okay, mostly clouds, heavy thunderstorm, T-storms, eh, significa thunderstorms, in the afternoon. Okay, very good, aquí está. So, what do you recommend I wear? If I go outside, what do you recommend? Rain I coat. recommend it rain. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, very good. A raincoat. Umbrella. Umbrella. What else? What do you recommend? Boots. Maybe boots. boots. Uh huh. Very good. Okay. Uh, what about maybe a hat? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, mascarilla. How do you say mascarilla in English? I don't know. Mask. 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 Very good. Okay. So look, for example, if I want to look at the weather here, lo que voy a hacer es eh, agrandar este mapa, and I go, and I want to see the weather in El Salvador, and I see here. Okay. Very good. Okay. So we're going to do an activity. Okay. Um, the activity that we're going to do, we're going to do a speaking activity. Eh, pero primero voy a presentar la, la presentación que, que les mostré ayer. Y después vamos a hacer una actividad. Okay, very good. No, esta no. Uh, this one. Okay, vocabulary. Repeat, Sunny. Sunny. Cody. Uh, oh, cloudy. 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 No, Cody, no. Cloudy. 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 Raining. Raining. Right now, right now in El Salvador, you can say it's raining. Rain. Snowy. 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 Helling. Helling. Stormy. 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 Foggy. Foggy. Clear. Foggy. Clear. Windy. 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 Calm. Windy. Calm. 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 Hot. 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 Cold. 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 Humid. 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 And dry. 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 Okay. Dry. Remember the seasons. Repeat. Winter. 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 Spring. Spring. Summer. 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 Autumn. Autumn. Or, como más? Como otra, otra, otro vocabulario que se usa? The fall. 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 
So you have a sunny day. Uh, what do you recommend I wear for a day like this? What do you recommend? What clothes? A hat. A hat. Mm -hmm. There's a hat, short. Short. T-shirt. T-shirt. Mm -hmm. T-shirt. Sandals. Sandals, maybe, okay. Blue. A blouse. Mm -hmm. Okay. What Long about... Time. What about a day like this? What do you recommend I wear? Sweater, blouse, um, sweater, blouse, mm -hmm. hat, hat, blouse, hat, blouse, no blouse, gloves, gloves, gloves. 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 jacket, boots, boots. Okay. okay, very good. The same, the same for this, right? Yeah. Okay, very okay. good. All right, so what, what we're going to do is this, look, it's an activity. Uh, you're gonna, I'm, I'm going to give you this website. Uh, van a estar en grupo, ¿verdad? Grupo de tres o cuatro. And you're going to go to this website. It says list of cities around the world. A list of cities around the world, okay? So, uh, I I mean, you can just look at any of these websites. So let me see. Uh, let's go to, uh, I'm going to put most famous, most famous cities around the world. Ahí está. Okay. So here I have the most famous cities around the world, la más visitadas most visited cities around the world and i have a list okay you can go to the cities now what you're going to do is in grupos eh, elegir unas cinco de estas and you investigate you go to google and you put weather in london okay for example we go to google we put weather in London. It's going to give me information, right? What is the weather in London? And I can look at here, it's raining 16 degrees Celsius. It's poco frío, right? It's a little cold, chilly, okay? And uh, what should I wear? What do you recommend that I wear? Okay? So you can, uh, do you remember the lesson that we did? Había una lección en that we talked about weather. Uh, eh, I'm sorry, no clothing. I think it was, de verdad, la sección tres. Vimos una, una activity where we talked about clothing. Do you remember? Yes, okay. I remember. Voy a ver si encuentro esa foto, se la voy a mandar. En lo que lo, lo voy a buscar ahorita. And you're going to talk about that and say, okay, what, what should I wear for this weather, okay? Uh, let me see. Let me stop. Ah, aquí está. Clothes vocabulary. Section four. Sorry. Clothes vocabulary. And then you're going to tell, well, what should I wear for that? What should I wear for that city? If I'm visiting that city, remember? Ya le voy a mandar esta foto, que es the, the weather picture that we were looking at, okay? All right, excellent. So let's go to groups. Le voy a mandar la página con la lista de ciudades y el vocabulary for clothes. Okay? Let's go to groups. Okay, let's go to the groups. Acepten la invitación. Let's go to the groups.
a elegir bando, bando, bando. Solo que elijamos uno cada una. Un país cada uno, ¿verdad? Y para Ajá, para y cada quien piezas. que lo describa. Uh -huh. Vaya, entonces, para voy a ¿Sí? Si quieren lo elegimos para que no tengamos el mismo. Ajá. Uh Ajá. -huh. Yo voy a elegir París. Uh -huh. Vale. Yo voy a elegir Dubai. Barcelona. Okay. Voy a elegir um, Tokio. Y de eso tenemos que buscar información, ¿verdad? Hay que buscar el, el clima para ver este qué tipo de vestuario utilizan, según el clima que tienen ahorita. Ah, ya. Ah, bien. Eh, eh, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo le puedo poner para buscar? En Google, where in to, en, uh -huh. en el país que usted eligió o la ciudad. Where in, where in eh, el país que el nombre del país que eligió. Where, where in Barcelona. Uh -huh. okay. Where se escribe, ¿verdad? Se escribe W H A T E R. Perdón. W H E A T E R. Ah, ya, gracias. Ah, ya me salí. Abajo de la mesa. Sí, eso es perfecto. Mira, yo tengo Dubai y Nueva York. Ok, entonces yo voy a, voy a agarrar, ajá. yo tengo Tokio y Londres. Bueno, tengo Bangkok y eh, París. Ok, ¿y Magali? ¿Cuál es tu Nueva York y Singapur. Singapur y, perdón. Palma, Mallorca. Ah, ok. Okay, when you find the information, eh, tomen nota de cómo está el clima. It's raining, cloudy, sunny, snowy, it's 20 degrees Celsius. Eh, and then, what do you recommend for clothes? Okay. Okay, very good. Go. Hola, Beatriz. No, no llegaron sus compañeros aquí la, al grupo. Mm. No estaba llegó, no llegó nadie bien eh, sí pero no sé ya no me contestó yo creo que se salió la persona ah. que estaba acá Ok, lo, lo que voy a hacer es eh, la voy a asignar a otro grupo para que no esté no esté sola ok ok Weather. Ok, very good. Um, acabo de asignar a, a Beatriz aquí para tra que trabajen con ustedes. So, lo que pueden hacer es cada uno busque dos ciudades. Ok, ah, okay. and then describe the weather. So, hagan su Google search and then describe. Tomen nota cómo está el clima. It's cloudy, sunny, raining, it's snowy. Mm -hmm. And then, what do you recommend? What type of clothes do you recommend? Okay? Uh, okay. okay.
Ok, ¿ya encontraron una, por lo menos? Um. Súper fácil, ¿verdad? ¿Vieron cómo lo hice yo? En la presentación, ¿sí? Solo pongan weather in and then, and then you put the city. Eh, Paris, Francia. Mm, despejado, ¿cómo sería? Porque me parece así en español. Ah, no, English. <laughs> Translation. Es que pone, what is the weather in London? Y la respuesta te va a salir en español. Right. En Wow. Siempre sale en español. Ah, que tienen que configurar su Google a inglés. Por lo menos lo que es las herramientas de, de Google. Y si lo pones en inglés, si pones la pregunta en inglés completa, también te sale en español. Sí, eso hice. Puse la pregunta completa. Ok. De, tienes que hacer aquí el cambio en tu navegador. Eso te va a ayudar mucho a aprender inglés también, el, por, por el vocabulario. Y, y aún puedes buscar cosas en español, pero tienes que eh, permitir que tu navegador identifique en inglés. Ok, so, entonces ni modo, búscalo, búscalo en español. Búscalo en español, entonces you tell it, say it to us in English. ¿Ya? ¿Encontraron una? Ahí encontré uh, de París y una de Tokio. Ok, eh, Gabriela, pregúntale, ¿cómo está el clima en París? Say, ask Beatriz. Ask in English. The weather. In, in. In París. Yes. Um, ok. Um, <laughs> Mm. Eh, encontré que estaba a 60. Uh -huh. eh, no grado. Degree. 60 degree. 60 degree. 10. Celsius. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 60 degree Celsius. Claire. Feel. Uh -huh. Ok. Y en Tokio estaba 24. Claudi. 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 What do you recommend? What type of clothes do you recommend? ¿Te acuerdas el vocabulario de close? Yes, close, eh, mm, sweater, eh, jeans, hat, uh -huh. eh, sneakers. Uh -huh. Very good. Mm, oh, okay. Boot, eh, gloves. Okay, perfect. Okay, very good. ¿Qué más? ¿Alguien más encontró otra? Okay, Gabriela, go. What did you find? Dubai. Dubai, okay. So, si yo le quiero preguntar a ella, ¿cómo está el clima en Dubai? How do I say it in English? How? How? Continue, continue. Come on, démosle. 
house. You can do it. The sí, weather you, you can... in Dubai. How is the weather in Dubai? Okay, very good. So, eh, yo soy tu compañero, ya que los otros no quieren hablar, yo voy a hablar. <laughs> How is the weather in Dubai, Gabriela? Partly cloudy, 41 degrees Celsius. Mm -hmm. um, Fahrenheit. Okay. What do you recommend? What type of clothes do you recommend? Short. The shirt, sneakers, green suit. Suit, okay. All right, good job. Thank you. Jaime, did you find one? Yes. Uh, what city? Turquía. ¿Cuál es? Turquía. Okay. Uh, in English, how do you say? Uh, I don't know. Ah, que no fuiste a WhatsApp. Es que en WhatsApp puse una lista de ciudades. Okay. Ah. So, Turquía eh, es un país, pero ¿qué ciudad estás viendo del país? Istanbul. Istanbul. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. So, what's Istanbul. The, what is the weather in Istanbul? Cloudy. In... 20 degree Celsius, mm -hmm. como se dice? Celsius. Celsius, okay. Mm -hmm. And using clothes, uh, for example, jeans, mm -hmm. uh, a pair of boots. Mm -hmm. And cups, okay. Mm, T-shirt, and shoes, and or jacket, and, excellent. And socks. Mm -hmm. Good job. A pair of socks. Okay, sounds good. Okay, what else, Carol? Did you find one? Mm -hmm. uh, tengo Paris. Mia Paris. Okay, so, ¿cómo le pregunta a Carol? ¿Cómo le pregunta a Carol, compañeros, si quiero saber cómo está the weather in Paris? How do I ask? How's the weather in Paris? How's the weather in Paris? Very How's good. Uh, in Paris, uh, 15, 15, 15 degrees, mostly coldly. Good. Uh, the, the cloth, uh, the shirt, uh, jeans, uh, hat, mm -hmm. uh, shorts, um, sneakers, uh, sandals, clothes, okay. uh, cap. Okay. Good. Good job. All right, ¿qué más está aquí? ¿Todos ya pasaron? Sí, Pichar, oh. solo tengo una duda. ¿Cómo uh -huh. se formula la pregunta? How, ¿cómo? Uh -huh. How is the weather in... Ah, ok. Gracias. Ok, let's go back to the group. Okay, hello, we're back. 
Okay. Now, the question is, how is the weather? How is the weather, verdad? Esa es la pregunta. How is the weather in Miami? How is the weather in New York? How is the weather in Paris? Okay. So that is the, the question that, that we're looking at. Okay. So así se hace la pregunta. How is the weather? Um, and then you answer, you say it is cloudy, sunny, cloudy. snowy. Okay. 24 degrees Celsius, uh, 16 degrees Celsius. I recommend, and then you speak, right? I recommend boots, shirt, shorts, lo, lo que sea. Okay, very good. So, so practice that, okay? Eh, estas son conversaciones que usted podría tener con alguien día al día. Si alguien le pregunta, How's the weather in El Salvador? Okay, this is a conversation that, that it's normal to have. Okay, very good. Let's go to our next lesson. The next lesson that I have for you is the present continuous. ¿Quién ya vio esa, esa parte del present continuous? Hmm? Very good. So, uh, if I ask you a question, ahorita, listening to me, what are you doing right now what are you doing right now i am How? listening to the class i am listening to the class very okay. good okay um let's see eh, lo que tienen a un family member there for example um jaime jaime eh, who lives with you quien vive ahí contigo who lives with you uh, I live with my grandmother and my mother. Okay. What is your mother doing? Uh, my mother Ahorita, is ¿qué está down. Is sit down in the chair. Okay. Very good. So, eso es lo que vamos a practicar. Right? If I ask you, what are you doing? Or what is she doing? What is he doing? You have to answer. So, uh, let's see how long is, uh, let's watch the video. Yo creo que algunos ya lo vieron. Let's watch the video for this. Okay. Lo voy a adelantar un poquito. Wait, no, no pueden escuchar, ¿verdad? No. Ahora. Ahora sí creo. You're listening to the class right now. Let me write a quick formula in order to understand how to form these statements. Subject plus verb to be plus the verb. Uh, plus ing plus some kind of complement. Okay, so ahí está la formula. It's subject plus verb to be plus ing plus complement. Okay? For example, um, I asked you, le pregunté a Jaime, what is your mother doing? She is, se me olvidó que, ah, sitting. <laughs> She's sitting down right now, okay? She is sitting, all right? So I have subject, verb to be, the verb, que sería sit, and then ing, sitting, okay? So, vamos a hacer un speaking activity. You're going to ask the person, así como le pregunté a Jaime. Jaime, who lives with you? Okay, so la primera pregunta se la va a poner aquí en el chat. Uh, voy a dejar de compartir. The first question, I'm going to put it in the chat, sería, eh, who, quien, who lives with you? And you can say, ah, my mother, my brother, my sister, okay? Y después ustedes van a preguntarle qué está haciendo cada uno, okay? Question number two. What is your 
a brother doing, for example? Okay. What is your brother doing? What is your mother doing? And then you have to describe. Okay. Se pueden ayudar allí, si no, ¿cómo se dice cocinar? Uh, cooking. Okay. Se pueden ayudar ahí con el verbo. Pero eso lo vamos a ir aprendiendo en lo que ustedes eh, puedan ampliar su vocabulario más. So, okay, so remember the formula. Subject plus verb to be, and then verb ing. She is sitting. All right, very good. Let's go to groups. Okay, now, algunos están teniendo problemas con los grupos. Ahorita, que yo, antes de asignar los grupos, tendrían que, voy a recrear los grupos ahorita, okay. Um, voy a hacer para que sea lo más pequeño posible, así hablan más. Ok. Two, two or three. And, eh, tienen que estar en Zoom. Acuérdense que la, la invitación les cae en Zoom, no les cae en otra aplicación. Si están en su teléfono, pero tienen que estar ingresados a Zoom. All right, let's go to the groups now. How will you with you? How lives with you? Who lives with you? Who lives with you? In this class. Mm, no, ella le preguntó quién vive con usted. Who lives ah, with you? My mother. Uh -huh. Your mother, ¿quién más? Ok, so, ¿qué le va a preguntar ahora? What is your mother doing? What is your mother doing? It's sleep. Ok, allí tenemos que usar she. She sleep. She is asleep. No, she is sleeping. She is sleeping. Exactly. ¿Por qué? Porque tenemos que usar. ¿Se acuerda la fórmula? Subject plus verb to be plus ing. Estamos usando el present continuous. What is she doing? She is sleeping. She is sleeping. Uh -huh. Es una acción continua lo que ella está haciendo ahorita. She is sleeping. Okay. Very good. Uh, now, Gabriela, you're going to ask Magali. Who lives with you? I live with my mom. Who lives my mom? No se le escucha muy bien, Magali. I live with my mom. Okay, she lives with her mom. What is your mother doing? Is study English class right now. She's studying. Okay. Very good. Now. Pregúntense la uno a la, una a la otra, ¿qué están haciendo? What are you doing now? Okay. Now, what you can do is, you can write. Ahí en el chat, pueden escribir las oraciones. Okay. Uh, 
hacer una pregunta. Es right now, no siempre se pone. Perdón. El right now, no Ajá. siempre se pone cuando se pregunta. No, no es necesario. You can say, what are you doing now? Or what are you doing? Simplemente, what are you doing? Okay. Now, pero yo quiero la respuesta. Porque ahí viene la lección de la gramática que estamos estudiando. I am. Continue. What are you doing? I, uh, I, I, I am thinking uh, one song. No, 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 se usa la pregunta ya. Okay, Christopher, what are you doing? I am starting right now. Very good. Claribel, what are you doing? Eh, eso significaba que es lo que estoy haciendo, ¿verdad? No. Yes. Um, What are you doing? Christopher, te voy a poner en mute. Solo por un segundito. What are you doing? Es um, estudiante. No, <laughs> no esa sé. no es la estructura. Eso, eso, Christo, Christopher, escribirle tu oración, ejemplo, en chat. Entonces, no, no ha visto la, esta lección, ¿verdad? En el video. Eh, no, no ha visto esta lección en la plataforma todavía, ¿verdad? Todavía no. ¿Por dónde va? En ese voy ahorita, en el video ese. En ese la video. Ahora lo iba a hacer, pero... Ajá. Okay. ok. Ahí nos escribió Christopher. Very good. Christopher, I am studying right now. Do you see? Él tiene el sujeto, verb to be, plus ing. Very good. Yes. Very good. Entonces, what are you doing right now? You have to follow the same structure. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Studying. I am a student right now. Yes. Uh huh. Escribila in the platform. Let's see. Put it on the uh, chat. Ahorita. ¿En qué parte se escribe? Disculpe. En el chat, aquí mismo en el chat de Zoom. En el chat de... Hay como un icono de comentario, pues en su caso ahí y pueden escribir. Christopher, ¿le puedes tomar una captura de pantalla? Allí, allí donde tú ves ese botón de chat. Y mandarlo al grupo de WhatsApp. Please. Bueno. Okay, very good. Uh, let's see, let's practice. Carol, who lives with you? A microphone. Repeat, please. Okay. Who lives with you in your house? Eh, no le comprendo. Okay. ¿Quién vive allí en tu casa? Who lives with you? Um, I live um, my son. No me acuerdo cómo se dice hijo. Son. Son. Uh -huh. Correct. Son. Uh, my brother, uh, mother, y esposo, no recuerdo. How do you say esposo in English? Husband. 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 Okay, very good. So, ¿escucharon todas esas personas que están ahí con ella? Yes. So, I can ask, what is your husband doing? What is your husband doing? Ella tiene que usar el present continuous para responder eso. ¿Qué está haciendo tu esposo? Eh, 
My husband is, uh, is digamos que está durmiendo. Is sleeping. sleeping. Mm -hmm. Okay. ¿Vieron la estructura? He is sleeping. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. Let's, I want to do an exercise with you. Okay. Uh, present continuous. Aquí está. It's a grammar exercise that we can do. Now, aquí está la estructura, solo que está fuera de orden. I have to put it together. Okay. He, me dan el sujeto. Yo tengo que agregar el verb to be. Y después eh, el ing. Okay. For example, number one. He is meeting, meeting his, his friend, friend tonight. 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 Very good. Excellent. Excellent job. Okay. Check. Eh, perfect. Okay. Now, algunas van a estar en negativo. Okay. El negativo va después del verb to be. Okay. So, let's look at number two. He is not walking to a school now. Very good. ¿Vieron? He is not walking to the store now. Okay. Ah, perdón. He is... Walking. He is not walking. Escribí algo más. And to the ah to school. No, no es necesario poner the en este ejemplo. Ahí está. Okay. Number three. We. We are not, we are not, not watching TV at the, at the moment. moment. We are not watching TV at the moment. Very good. Okay. You. You are, are not reading a book. book. You are not reading a book. Very good. Number five. I am, I, I am visiting Linda, Linda tonight. Yes, remember, siempre cuando uso I, después va el verb to be, I am visiting Linda tonight. Number six. She is not eating dinner, eating dinner now. Eating now. Eating now. She's not eating dinner now. Very good. Number seven, subject, Lucy. Lucy is Lucy not walking in the work in the work in shop in this summer. summer. Very good. Number eight. They, they are washing their washing their washing washing Very good. They are watching a film. Number nine, we, we are buying, are buying a, car. A, new car. A, new, a new car. We are buying. We are buying a new car. Okay, very good. Number ten. Party tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, so le voy a mandar este ejercicio so that you can practice. Practice, okay? Hay dos partes, le voy a mandar las dos partes, okay? So that you can do this exercise, all right? Very good. Uh, let's see. Eh, la lección está aquí en el 4.10, okay? Very good. You have, to, you have to understand the structure, right? Subject plus verb to be plus verb ing and then complement. Okay? Now... Let me share my computer with you, okay? All right. Digamos que voy a hacer aquí un ejemplo, okay? So I can do, I can do a positive sentence. For example, we are watching TV. ¿Qué están haciendo ahorita? What are you doing? You know, if you ask someone, we're watching TV, okay? In negative, ¿Cómo sería esta misma oración, pero en negativo? We are not, we are not, watching, we are not watching TV. TV. We are not watching TV. Sí. Very good. Okay. Now, y en forma de pregunta, ¿cómo sería? Are, are we watching TV? Are we watching TV? Exacto. Es lo que hago. Pongo el, el mismo verb to be, lo pongo al inicio. Are, are we 
are we watching? Watching to be. Watching to be. Ah, y el signo, ¿verdad? De... Ahí está. Yeah. We are watching TV. So, repeat. Yeah. We are watching TV. Positive. Negative. We are not, are not watching, watching TV. TV. Question. Are we watching, watching TV? Okay. Very good. Hagamos una más. Uh, for example, a positive. They are running now. They are running now. Okay. Negative. They are not are running, now. running now. Okay. And question. Are, are, are they, they running, running, now? running now? Running now. Ahí está. Okay. So practice the three structures. Practice the three structures. Okay. Very good. So uh, let me see. Le dejo something else very quickly, very quickly. Okay. Uh, let me see. Okay. Uh, I want to speak English, right? Esa es la meta. But the problem is, me pierdo. Or I don't know how to answer. So, first you have to understand that you need vocabulary. Okay, it's the first thing that you need, okay? The next thing that you need is you need grammar, okay? The next thing that you need is organize. Thought organization, pensar, organizar eso en tu mente. In English, organize the ideas, okay? If you have that, then you have fluency. Entonces, ahora tengo fluidez, all right? Vocabulary, grammar, and thought organization. All right? Aquí estamos practicando grammar and vocabulary. Okay? And the speaking activities, las, las actividades que hicimos, por ejemplo, ahorita, who lives with you, what are they doing, es para que ustedes practiquen el thought organization. Okay? So, vocabulary, grammar, and thought organization. Yo trato de crear las actividades para que ustedes puedan hablar. Okay. Now, ¿qué es lo que me puede detener? Cosas que me pueden detener. Pero, vocabulario. Ajá, pero eso, eso es parte del el, el triángulo. Pero en sí... Cosas emocionales o, o, o mentales que uh -huh. me pueden afectar. Pena. Fear. Ay. <laughs> Tengo pena. Ok. Miedo. Fear. Fear. Tener miedo. What else? Uh -huh. okay. Wrong. Ah. Equivocarse. Pero equivocarse, todos nos vamos a equivocar. Pero que tener miedo a equivocarse. Inseguridad. Duda. Inseguridad. Insecurity. ¿Eh? ¿Qué más? Duda. Uh, doubt. Hay que ser más específico con eso, pero duda por qué. Doubt. ¿Ok? What else? Time. ¿Ah? Tiempo. ¿Tiempo de qué? Para practicar. Ah, ok. No, no practice. No practice. All right, very good. So, todas esas cosas nos van a detener. All right, very good. So, um, but right now we're practicing grammar, vocabulary, and thought organization. Ok, so continue. Present continuous es la, lo que vamos a hacer entre ahora y mañana. Present continuous, ok. All right. Questions? No? Uh, teacher, uh, uh... Solamente no sé si tuviera usted alguna página donde pudiéramos eh, tener mayor vocabulario. O sea, algún lugar donde uno entrara y buscara vocabulario para mm, practicarlo. Para... Les recomiendo una aplicación que puedan usar que se llama Duolingo. Duolingo. Pueden usar esa aplicación y, y, y hacer esos ejercicios porque... Tiene, por ejemplo, tema de escuela y te da un vocabulario de escuela. Te da bastante dibujitos, juegos, cosas así que puedan hacer. Eh, ahora la tecnología pues, nos, nos permite 
Cual, aprender cualquier idioma, así solamente con el teléfono. ¿Okay? Es una aplicación, tienen que descargarla en el Play Store, eh, Google, ahí, ahí le va a dar. All right, very good. Okay, okay I'll see you. you. See you tomorrow. I'll see okay? you tomorrow. Bye. Very good. Good night. Bye.